Welcome to the warm-up. We're continuing our way around West Central Ohio talking football. We are in Fort Laramie today to talk with head coach of the Redskins, Matt Bergbacher. Matt, sixth season for you, five straight playoff appearances for the program. You've built a real solid program here in Laramie. You know, we're getting there. It's uh, It's been an exciting five years. It's it's amazing. It's been five years, but, you know, I've been blessed with some, some great football teams, with some great kids and great parents and a great community. So, you know, it, it's got all the ingredients for a very successful program. We're just looking at, again, taking it that next step. And, you know, I think we are a good program, but we're working to be a great program. And I think this year, again, you know, hopefully we do take that next step to get to that elite level that we want to get to. Right, last year, 8-2 and two in the regular season, lost to the eventual state champs in Marion Local, but so did everyone. They finished <laughs> undefeated, so there's no shame in that. But looking back, there's a lot to build on on 2013. All three losses were to playoff opponents. You know, when, when you do, after the season, when you are able to reflect, you know, um, Defiance Tenora was a very good football team week three that we played. Uh, Sydney Lehman was very good. And then... Um, Obviously, Marion Locals, Marion Locals. So, you know, we played, you know, four playoff teams, including Marion. You know, you look at um, Defiance Tenora made the semifinals. Ada made the finals in their region. And then Sydney Lehman made the semifinals. So, you know, the teams we lost to were, were obviously quality opponents. But then again, you look back at those games, and, in, and those games were decided you know, by three or four plays that could have gone either way. Right. And, um, you know, and that, that's what we're building on this year. We want to make those plays, you know, especially in that Tenor game. We had, you know, we just got off to a bad start, and the kids know you can't do that against a great team. Sidney Lehman made a few more plays than we did. And and Marion, when we look at that Marion game, they made three, there were three plays in the first half that was the difference in the game. You know, a big third down conversion on the first drive, a block punt, and then an interception that we threw. And that those were the three plays, and that got their momentum going and you know they you know obviously they were a great football team last year and 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 stuff so you know we're going to build off of what we did last year you know and and hopefully take that next step turning our attention to 2014 now a lot of guys out there who are some of the guys you're returning that are you're looking to take on leadership roles this year you know the the big thing we have is we're not going to have a superstar um, with this year's team, you know, we lost all of our skill guys. We lost our starting quarterback, our starting running back, our two slot guys, our two spread ends from last year's team. You know, but what we do have back on offense is, is three starting offensive linemen and then two other guys that got a lot of experience last year playing on the offensive line. So our offense is going to start with that offensive line. You know, Andy Gruy did get some experience at quarterback last year when Tyler was hurt. So he's coming back more confident, you know, knowing the offense more, knowing what to do, what's expected of a quarterback in the leadership role. So, you know, offensively, we're just, I can't answer that question for you right now. It's those five offensive linemen that right. we're going to be That's very the core, dependent on. And you'll build from you there. You know, to start off. And then, you know, when we get into our scrimmages and stuff, you know, those questions will be answered, but we got to wait till we get into those scrimmages. Uh, defensively, we've got our front four back. We've got our, our three of our four starting uh, DBs back. What are question marks in the middle there at linebacker? We do come back with uh, sophomore Nathan Plyman. Um, last year as a freshman, had over 60 tackles and, and I think six or seven sacks as a freshman. So he's going to be the man in the middle of our defense this year. And, and we're going to be very dependent on him, but he's going to be very dependent on those down linemen. So they're eating up blockers. They're, you know, doing their job so he, to keep the blockers off of him. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to say we, we've got these number of key players. Our whole team's going to be key. So, you know, that's – that's the exciting part for us because we're not going to be dependent on one or two or three guys to have a great season. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got to have a great season. So how have you seen this group come together in camp? We're a little over a weekend now. You know, it, it's amazing. Every day, you know, we came out Monday, last Monday, to start two days, we had a lot of question marks, mm -hmm. you know. But it was, it, the exciting part was, or is, is every day they've taken a step forward. We haven't taken two steps forward and one step back. So when we walked off the field on Saturday, we were a much better football team than we were on Monday. And, and it was like that every day last week. So this team's coming together. Again, they understand there's no superstar. And our big motto is to be a great teammate. Not, not so much on the field. Be a great teammate out, you know. You know, when you're away from the field, when the coaches aren't around, when your parents aren't around, that's when you got to be a great teammate. And these guys are doing a great job. You know, I see the seniors picking up the freshmen. They get dropped off in the morning. You know, we don't have all the parents dropping their kids off. We've got seniors picking those kids up. So this team, the camaraderie, the 
the coachability, that's another key thing with this group. These guys are very coachable, and usually we only have to say something one time, and they get it. And so we're not sitting there repeating ourselves, beating our heads up against the wall, you know, repeating. You know, these guys get it the first time, and, and, and they do it right. With the seniors, is that something that you've seen that you've had to instill in them, or is it something that they have, they've had all along, and this is just that the way that group is? Yeah. I think it's more the way that group is, but the biggest thing is they're seniors. They've been in our program now. When I first got here, these seniors were in seventh grade, so that was their first year. That was my first year, so they've seen how we do it, and now it's their turn. They're seniors, and every senior class is different, and, and this year's seniors, they have really absorbed that leadership role, and they want to be a good role model. You know, we want our kids to get on each other, but we want to do it in a positive way, and, and these seniors are doing it, and they are, they are doing a great job of leading by example. That's great. Well, coming up tomorrow is the first scrimmage, I believe. You are taking on Indian Lake. You're traveling there. You must be excited. The guys must be excited. They're very excited because, you know, in the summer you get those 10 coaching days. You know, we work out three days a week. We do all that stuff, and then you start two a days, and you got to have those five acclimation days. You know, they're just they're ready to go against somebody else. We're ready to go against somebody else. So, yeah, tomorrow night's going to be great, you know, to be able to go over there. The reason I like scrimmaging any lake because I know they're going to knock the socks off of us, and we're going to find out real quick you know, what time, what type of team we're going to have. <clears throat> you know, we got some question marks with some of those young guys coming up. You know, tomorrow night those, those questions will be answered. Um, then we come back Saturday and we go up to Elida and scrimmage, you know, and that's another, that's a great scrimmage for us. You know, they're going to be bigger than us. They're going to be faster than us. They're going to be stronger than us. But you know what? We want to see our kids go out and compete. You know, that's the biggest thing in the preseason. We did stuff this summer where we, we forced them to compete and, you know, force them to get that mentality that you need to be a great football program and a great football team. And I think we're, again, we're making strides in that. Well, big week here for the Laramie Redskins. <laughs> Thanks to coach Matt Bergbacher. Best of luck this season. Time for a timeout on the warm up. When we return, Mark Kuntz will sit down with some of the Fort Laramie players. Welcome back to the warm-up at Fort Loramie. I'm Mark Koontz. We're joined now by three of the seniors for the Loramie Army. Clint Ratterman, Cole Cordania, and Andy Gruy down on the corner at the end. Andy, cornerback and quarterback, playing both ways, as most of you guys do at Fort Loramie. Just your thoughts heading into uh, your senior season. Uh, well, we're just looking forward to having a great year, and we're all putting forth our best effort and trying our best to win as many games as possible and make it to the postseason. Cole, you're a running back and a linebacker. Obviously, you lose Delonte Thornton, who's going to walk on at Southern Miss, almost 2,000 yards rushing for you guys last year. You can't replace him. What did you learn from Delonte that might be help you this year as you step into that running back position? I learned to uh, run the ball real hard and make sure every time I explode through the hole, he taught me a lot blocking-wise and how to run the plays right. Clint, receiver and DB, what have you seen from Andy so far as quarterback? Uh, he's throwing the ball a lot better this year better on his reads and accuracy is a lot better this year. I mean, last year he kind of got rattled early, but he's coming a long way this year. Clint, when you look back to last year, do you remember the eight wins or do the three losses stick out the most? Um, I'd say, well, the first win sticks out pretty good, but then after that, the competition wasn't as great as the other three losses, so that kind of stuck out more than what the wins did. Cole, you guys have made the playoffs the last five years. That's all you guys know is making the postseason now under Coach Bergbacher. He's put in a good program. Is there pressure now at Fort Lormie to, to get to week 11 each and every year? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of expected out of us, and I feel like we need to do more than just win 11 games, like maybe win now 13 or more, keep going on, make it farther on into the playoffs. Andy, you look at the NWCC. I think a lot of folks are expecting to come down to you guys in Lehman Catholic once again. There's a nice little rivalry between you guys and the Cavaliers. How much are you looking forward to that matchup with uh, Lehman Catholic coming up in, uh, what is that, week seven of this season? Uh, yeah, that's one of the main games we play. We look forward to it every year. Uh, definitely after the way it went last year, we're definitely looking forward to uh, seeing, you know, maybe get a little rematch going on and a little revenge on how it, uh, how it ended there. 
Cole, I know you're also looking forward to week one because A, it's week one, but B, it's Minster. Yeah, they're always going to put a tough team out there and it's become a big rivalry around here. It's kind of the game that must be a must win because you know they're going to make a lot of wins. And by winning that game, pushes us towards making the postseason. All right, we need to take a break here on the warm-up when we come back more from Fort Lormie here in WOSM. Welcome back to the warm-up third down with the Fort Loramie football team, joined now by two more seniors for the Loramie Army. Grant Olberding, wide receiver and defensive end on the end. Tristan Stripling, the left guard and the kicker, offensive line kicker. You don't see that combination too much. It, 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 which one do you like better, playing uh, the line or kicking? I like kicking better, but I do my best on both. <laughs> Grant, you look at uh, last year, an 8-3 and three season, made it to the postseason once again. What stands out the most about the 2013 campaign? Um, I mean, we had a really good team, but I mean, we worked hard and had a couple bad games and didn't execute the whole time, but, I mean, we made the most of it and had a good time. Tristan, it's 2014 now. What do you think is going to be the strength of this Fort Loramie team? Uh, we got a lot of the line coming back, so we have more um, more people to know what they're doing, have more experience with the plays, just come back and know what to do. Grant, a couple of weeks before the opener against Minster, what needs to be worked on the most, what needs to be improved the most between now and week one? There's a lot about everything. About nothing's really to where we need it to be yet, but we're getting there. Tristan, what's Coach Bergbacher like? We see him on the sidelines. We talk to him off the field. He he's, seems like he's very enthusiastic. He certainly has brought a, a winning tradition to Fort Lormie from a player's perspective. What's he like? Uh, I like him. He's a good role model to me. I look up to him, respect the guy, and I uh, like to play for him. Wouldn't choose anybody better. Grant, one of the things that Coach was talking about was the senior class and, and how, how much leadership you guys have reflected, how much you've been looking out for the underclassmen. What are some of the ways that you've made sure to, to, to try and reach down to the, the younger kids? Well, just work hard all the time. Never take play off. And whenever you're running, just run as hard as you can. And just work hard. That's about it. Tristan, what are the goals for this year's team? Uh, we have high, uh, high priorities. We just get our head right and just go week by week. Obviously, Minster's up first. That game is circled. What other games are you guys looking forward to this year? Um, next game. <laughs> next game up. That's the philosophy for the Fort Loramie football program, and it's been a philosophy that has worked well under Coach Matt Bergbacher. That's going to do it for it tonight on the warm-up. I want to thank all of our guests here at Fort Loramie. Next time on WOSN, we'll see you then.